Welcome. In this video, we will learn to use Lupin's Albuterol Sulfate Inhalation Aerosol with a dose indicator. This video will walk you through three aspects of using medicine through Lupin's Albuterol Sulfate Inhalation Aerosol with dose indicator. And these are how to prime the inhaler, how to use the inhaler, how to clean the inhaler. Lupin's Albuterol Sulfate Inhalation Aerosol Package comes with a plastic actuator that sprays the medicine from the canister and a package insert for patients which has the complete information and other important facts about the medicine. The components of the inhaler are the canister which holds the medicine, a blue plastic actuator that sprays the medicine from the canister, dose indicator which shows the number of sprays left. Mouthpiece A protective green color dust cap that covers the mouthpiece of the actuator. The dose indicator will count down each time a spray is released. During every 5 to 7 sprays, the dose indicator will count down by 20 towards the next decreasing number. When only 40 sprays of medicine are left, the dose indicator window will turn red, indicating that you need a refill or a new prescription. Let us now learn how to prime your inhaler. Your inhaler requires priming before you use it for the first time, or if your device has not been used for more than 14 days in a row. The first step is to remove the protective dust cap from the mouthpiece. Hold the inhaler upright and away from your face and shake it well. Push the canister all the way down to release a spray into the air. Shake well and push the canister all the way down to spray the inhaler like this for the second time as a mandatory step to continue the priming. Similarly, shake well and push the canister all the way down to spray the inhaler like this for the third time to finish the priming. Your inhaler is now ready to use. The first step while using the inhaler is to shake the inhaler well before each spray. Take the cap off the mouthpiece of the actuator. Hold the inhaler with the mouthpiece down and ensure that the mouthpiece is clean and safe to use. The next step is to breathe out through your mouth and push as much air from your lungs as you can. Put the mouthpiece in your mouth and close your lips around it. Push the top of the canister all the way down while you breathe in deeply and slowly through your mouth. Right after the spray comes out, take the inhaler out of your mouth and close your mouth. Hold your breath up to 10 seconds or as long as you comfortably can, and then breathe normally. If your doctor has prescribed you to use more sprays, wait for one minute, then repeat the same steps in sequence as shown. Shake the inhaler and remove the cap. Ensure cleanliness of mouthpiece. Breathe out. Put the mouthpiece in your mouth and push the top of the canister. Take out the mouthpiece. Hold your breath up to 10 seconds and then breathe normally. The last step is to put the cap back on the mouthpiece and make sure the cap snaps firmly into place. It is very important to keep the plastic actuator clean so the medicine will not build up and block the spray. If the actuator is clean, proper medicine in the form of spray comes out from the canister. Whereas if the medicine builds up or any dust particles are present inside the actuator, it will lead to blockage and little or no medicine will come out from the canister. Let us now learn the procedure to clean the inhaler. Wash the actuator at least once a week. Take the canister out of the actuator and place it on a dry table. Do not let the canister get wet. Take the cap off the mouthpiece and hold the actuator under the faucet and run warm water through it for about 30 seconds. Turn the actuator upside down and run warm water through the mouthpiece for about 30 seconds. Shake off as much water from the actuator as you can. Look into the mouthpiece to make sure any medicine buildup has been completely washed away. If there is any buildup, repeat the washing instructions. Place the actuator and the cap 
at a safe place and let them air dry completely for overnight. If you have more than one lupin inhaler, wash each inhaler at separate times to prevent putting the wrong canister together. When the actuator is dry, put the canister in the actuator and make sure it fits gently and firmly. Shake the inhaler well and spray it twice into the air, away from your face. Once done, remember to put the cap back on the mouthpiece. If in any case you need to use your inhaler before the actuator is completely dry, repeat the steps as shown below. Shake as much water off the actuator as you can. Put the canister in the actuator and make sure it fits firmly. Shake the inhaler well. Spray it twice into the air, away from your face. Then take your albuterol sulfate inhalation aerosol dose as prescribed. After emergency use without overnight drying, remember to clean the inhaler as per the previous instructions with overnight drying. Be cautious to protect your inhaler from the extreme heat, the extreme cold, and keep it out of the reach of children. For detailed important safety instructions, please refer to the Instructions for Use section of the package insert included in the pack. We hope this video helps you to understand Lupin's albuterol sulfate inhalation aerosol in detail. In case you have any questions unanswered, please feel free to reach out to us at our toll-free number 1-800-399-2561. We appreciate you for choosing Lupin and thank you for watching.